Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. I'm Allison Whelan, coming to you live from Metro Connect USA 2024. And joining me is Hal Baylor from INOC. Hal, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Of course. So for those who may not know, can you tell us a little bit about INOC? Sure. Um, INOC has been uh, providing outsourced NOC services uh, for the last 24 years, which is quite a while. That is a long time. Uh, in this industry very specifically. So we have extensive experience in the fiber market. Uh, also work with data centers and content providers as well. So um, that's been our legacy and we're continuing with that and advancing our services and capabilities. Yeah, we were just saying in that 24 years, you had the opportunity to kind of perfect the operation side of things, which is key to moving forward. Absolutely. Uh, gathering best practices from lots of different companies and uh, learning to uh, make those very uh, standardized and of high quality of service. And your team had a big announcement yesterday. I hear it might involve AI. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I can. Uh, AI has been uh, bantered about uh, by a lot of companies. A lot of people are getting into it, doing it, lots of different things with it. We've actually been working with AI for over three and a half years, developing our, our operations platform around it. So we have an AI-driven operations platform, and it's the announcement was it's it's in the third iteration of that platform. So uh, that platform is makes automation really uh, uh, work for operations, which is not something a lot of people talk about. Uh, but what it does is it automates the alarms that happen on a network and it creates a ticket automatically by doing a lot of correlation in the back end. So, so just... you get faster mean time to ticket or a time to ticket, and you also get faster mean time to repair because the analysis of what's broken doesn't have to be done by an engineer. It actually shows up in the ticket, which is really cool. Yeah, and so that's from the operation side. What about customers? How is this benefiting your customers? Well, so uh, with that platform, we're going in and replacing uh, a lot of uh, human function, which is very prone to errors, and uh, automating that, so that's really great. Uh, it also can communicate with customers of our fiber providers or data center providers. It can communicate with them instantly, so people know exactly what's going on um, before they even realize that there's a problem. Rather than in the old days, you know, we'd be looking at a screen, hoping right. to catch an alarm, and then the customer's calling in, the end customer is calling in and saying, hey, we have a problem, and then we go look at things. Now it's they know and we know within 30 seconds. Yeah, very rapid. Fab fabulous. It yeah. is. Um, and so we're really achieving things like um, auto resolution rate. It, that's another thing that we can do. We can actually do auto resolution for like uh, priority three and four tickets. Uh, they get resolved without human intervention. Um, we're get, seeing, uh, we have one OEM that we work for that provides services to lots of different companies, and we're seeing a 26% uh, time uh, to ticket, uh, uh, increase in time to ticket, um, which is fabulous because, again, we go from that manual uh, correlation and understanding of what's going on to the automation side. Uh, we're also seeing uh, at another large OEM, uh, for their customers, a 50% uh, uh, time to resolution improvement. Uh, and there are other statistics like that, that it's just speeding things up and making things simpler and, and very precise. Uh, again, lots of our problems in the past were from human error. And we're, we're getting around that by having everything show up in the ticket very accurately. We know exactly what to do and how to resolve the issue. That's great. Those are some very impressive stats. So I'm sure our viewers will want to learn more. Can you share how to get in touch with you or how to get in touch with the INOC team? Sure, sure. Uh, go to my LinkedIn profile or to my uh, email address, which is hbaylor at inoc.com. Um, and uh, have a LinkedIn address. And uh, also our website is inoc.com. Pretty simple. Kind of like iPhone, but <laughs> I knock. I knock. I knock. Yeah. Com. Yeah. All right, Hal. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It was great getting to chat with you and learn a little bit more about iNOC. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in. Until next time, happy networking. Thank you, Allison. Appreciate it.